Hi, everybody. Happy Sunday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com here with 2022 Tops Finest Baseball. Eight box, pick your team number three. No vet common ship in this. Everything else does. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Appreciate it. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. Michael, you ended up with that last spot mojo star next to your name. Getting that team before we pulled the remaining teams for the filler. So if you have a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won a spot, a team in that team random. We did that in a separate video if you're looking for that. Here is the case. Good luck, everybody. Two chrome autographs per master box. We've got Otani on there as well. Good luck. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after an exciting, uh, I know this is a, a baseball break, but definitely a big football weekend. And eventually, we'll have some more baseball action happening here. So, Chiefs have moved on. They beat Jacksonville 27 to 20 on Saturday. And the Eagles beat the Giants 38 to 7. There was just no contest there. I think uh, Eagles were just rocking it from start to finish. A bit of a dud for Buffalo. Bengals beating Buffalo 27 to 10. And it just it just never seemed like it just never seemed like the uh, Bills really got out of the gate, but Bengals are playing some real motivated, really inspired, really inspired football. And a pretty tight matchup in San Francisco. Niners ended up beating uh, Dallas 19 to 12. Some couple untimely turnovers. Just couldn't get couldn't get the scores they needed in the earlier drives. Just Dallas just didn't quite get there. So that sets up a pretty exciting uh, conference championship weekend, which we'll discuss a bit more in the next box. But let's see what we got here. Good luck, everybody. We got Ronzi Contreras to three hundred for the Pirates. That'll be for Joe Christian. Brian Dela Cruz, got a Julio Rodriguez, and our first autograph, Joe Carter. Nice. I think Gabe was mentioning this earlier, but a lot of great like vet and retired player autos. Some really nice ones that can be pulled here. Fred with the Blue Jays. We got a purple, we got a corner store insert Mookie Betts and a purple Mookie Betts, 250. Both of those went to Michael. All right, there's a Byron Buxton to 175 for Ben and the Twins. Jake Berger. And a Bobby Witt Jr. for the Royals. It'll be for James. And we got an orange corner store auto, corner store autograph, cornerstone autograph. Ten out of twenty-five. Matt Olson. Chilo called it. Called his shot. Matt Olson autograph. That's gonna be for Gabe. Won that spot in the filler. And was saying earlier, you guys would be so amazed with all the Matt Olson, Barry Zito autos that are about to be pulled. Here's one already. Got Jose Ramirez to 50 for Cleveland.
All right, so that was box one. Here comes box two. Yeah, Nationals still have some old, some Juan Soto autograph mixed in there as well. All right, well, the the next two games... Oh, yeah, Chad, what's going on? Yeah, let's talk. I, I, I'm down to talk more about the division round games. How about that Bengal O-line to date? I think even the announcers, the broadcasters were, were impressed. I was certainly impressed. They... They controlled the entire game. They 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 looked, you know, cap more than capable of playing that sort of power running game. Took control of that game. I thought with two key offensive linemen being out, you know, it's gonna be a long day for the Bengals. But no, they cruised. Yeah, Joe Burrow was on point too. I mean, they're. You know, they're they're a passing team. You know, but they showed that they could grind out three offensive linemen, even. Yeah, but they showed that they can they can grind out a running game too. Yeah, Gilo say maybe the snow got into Josh Allen's head. Didn't use his legs much. Didn't Joe Mixon didn't mind. Julio Rodriguez. There we go. We've got some green here. It's Mackenzie Gore. 56 out of 125. Green speckle for the Padres. Jake. Oh, and a redemption. Any guesses on that redemption? Who are the who have the redemptions been? Yeah, what happened with the uh, what happened with Josh Allen? Just seemed like a real uncharacteristic performance from him. Sprites Harper to fifty. Yeah, the, that Bengals defense really caught him off balance. Bryce Harper for Tyler and the Phillies, and a Tyler McGill rookie autograph for Toby and the Mets. Big off season for the Mets. Nick Lodolo, blue. 28 out of 150 for Patrick and the Reds. All right, so behind Jeremy Pena. Congratulations, someone is due to receive a finest autograph, no parallel, of... Ooh, Spencer Torkelson? Yeah. Nice, nice one for the Tigers. Dennis with the Tigers. Won that in the team random. Got randomized that team in the team random. He gets rewarded with the Torkelson autograph. All right, next box. So now you, I, you kind of have to think about, about the divisional teams being knocked out. The team Of the teams that were knocked out, I always kind of think about like, what are the post-mortems for like these teams? Like what are we, what do these teams have to do to get back to where they need to be and beyond? All right, what does Jacksonville need to do? Jacksonville's actually in pretty good shape. I feel like just they just need another good draft, you know, good free agency window. Just keep shoring up, you know, the usuals, defense, offensive line kind of thing. Maybe do some work in free agency. I think they'll be okay. Giants, well, they got to figure out 
they're going to re-sign Saquon Barkley, and I think they got to give Daniel Jones, I think, has earned a contract extension. So they'll have to sort that out. Yeah, then just another hope. They have to hope for another good draft. Some good moves in free agency. Just keep keep going there. I don't know. Could be nice to see maybe a maybe a big big time pass catcher or something like that for Daniel Jones. Something like that. Pass catching tight end or something. Maybe get another offensive weapon or two. Be a running back that can give. Take on Barkley a little, a little rest here and there. Bills, I don't know. Bills are Bills are right there too. There's Reed Detmers for the Angels to 99. That'll be for Jason. Bills are right there. I guess they just need just need another draft cycles, more in free agency, a little bit of luck in the playoffs. The usual. We got a green Royce Lewis, 69, nice out of 99 for Ben and the Twins. EB and KC responding about the redemptions. You guys might be lagging behind a little bit. Hit that live button. But they're reminding me that Julio is a redemption, Hunter Green a redemption as well. Carlos Correa to 150. Back to the Twins for him. Ben with the Twins. And we got Javier Baez to 250 for Dennis and the Tigers. And the autograph is Marcos Diplan. Orioles, Cassandra with the O's. It's a possibility as well. I might be I might be too far into the future. Time keeps on slipping, 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 slipping into the future. Thirty out of one ninety nine, Steven Strasburg, Cassandra and the Nationals. It's a nice clean looking set here. I like finest. Another Julio, all those Julios going to Chris Fox and the Mariners. Maybe we'll find some parallels of him as well. Who do I got in the Super Bowl? That's a very good question. Uh, well, the conference matchups are set. They'll be on Sunday the 29th, so a week from now. Uh, I guess we'll, just depending on the game, we may catch a little bit of the end of the Niners-Eagles game by the time I go on air. But we'll definitely see Bengals-Chiefs together. Gilo, are you gonna are you gonna go to the game? Or are you gonna hang out with us here? What are your plans for that? Are you gonna go out or chill with me and Jaspies? Gabe's a big Chiefs guy. Hmm. Now Gabe's not gonna want to hear this, but I feel like it's gonna be. Well, Gabe, Gilo has mentioned this earlier today. It's like the Bengals seem to have. The Chiefs number. They just, whatever their, however their skill positions kind of match up, it just seems as if, if they do match up very well against the Chiefs. Joe Burrow just getting, uh, you know, getting hot at the right time. Bengals getting hot at the right time. Right, and that's the thing. We have probably just hang out here. You don't have high ups for Mahomes. That high ankle sprain for Patrick Mahomes, you know, he grinded out the game, but, you know, that's going to be a factor. A big factor in that game. I think I think the Bengals advance. Bengals are plus one right now. That might be even by the time we get to game time. Maybe, maybe even Bengals favored if uh, if the injury reports aren't good for Mahomes. Maybe I just maybe we get on the Bengals now at plus one. Hot at the right time. Is it 10-game wings here out there or just a great team? Mm. That Ravens win, they could have easily lost that game. That, that win wasn't very convincing. But I think they bounced back from that. It looked great against Buffalo. And in spite of not having those offensive linemen. And like you said, Joe Burrow on point. 
didn't look on point a lot of those games in those winning streaks. I mean, that's what good teams do. You still have to win the bad games, but... But yeah, I think they're they're just getting hot at the right time, where everything's just clicking. Let's keep Ryan Hayes to fifty, and Bobby Wood Jr. for James and the Royals. Niners Eagles Eagles are favored. They're minus two. Here's Trevor Story to two fifty. Red Sox Chris Parent. Hmm. There's Royce Lewis to 150. Chad will agree to disagree. Well, you're biased, Chad. You're, you, you've got you've got Bengals colored lenses lenses on. Royce Lewis, blue auto going to Ben. Niners Eagles. I, I I'm gonna go Eagles. I mean, at some point, is the is the Purdy party? There's Spencer Torkels into 175. Did you open that finest box yet? No. Okay. Let me know if you hit anything. Well, I'm not going. It's being shipped out sealed. Oh. Okay. Do you want it back? No, no, no. Okay. I can open up another case. There's a Salvador Perez die cut. All right, another finest box. Yeah, so Gabe's concerned. He didn't like the way he looked. He's going to limit the playbook. His bum angle is going to limit the playbook. Mike's asking, would that be a type of injury where you're better during the game, but not so good once the game is over? What's the prognosis to recover from such an injury? Yeah, the high ankle sprain is always a tricky one. Let me trade you. Yeah. Guys get a little, they get a little, uh, you know, nitpicky. Sure, that's fine. I just figured if you were ready. Oh, no big deal. And I, it's one of those like, what's the degree of that high ankle injury? But that's just one of those, it takes, I mean, he's not, he's definitely not going to be 100% for the game. And that's just one of those, it just takes time. You know, it's not like, it's not like you can just, I, I guess you can get like a, a cortisone shot or you can wrap it up a little extra, but that's a tough one. It's not like you can just use a, a Theragun and just massage some pain out or something like that. But he did play on it, you know. Ooh, nice Julio Rodriguez. To 300, 198 out of 300 for Seattle. Chris Fox, there we go. That's the stuff we're looking for. Uh, do, will I donate? No, not not to a division rival, Mike Tower. I'm not donating my ankle for him. Come on, man. Come on. There's Alex Bregman. Astros, Jared with the Strohs. We've got a purple Heliot Ramos to 250. That's going to go to go to Chris Fox and the Giants. That's the spot that he won in the team random. Gilo should donate. He's a Chiefs guy. He should donate the ankle. Gabe, are you going to donate an ankle to uh, to Patrick Mahomes? Hey, here's a Wander Franco. That's for Matt and the Rays. Matt Olson for the Braves to 199. That'll be for Michael Brinton and the Bravos. Uh, 
And a Jose Miranda green, 83 out of 99 green lava. Ben with Minnesota. Another Julio Rodriguez. What do the Packers do to fix their team? Logan's asking. Logan's a Packers guy. Um, gosh, that's a tough one, right? I think you just kind of have to start from scratch. You know, you were you guys were blessed with Brett Favre and and Aaron Rodgers for what a couple decades or whatever. It's kind of like it's sort of like Peyton Manning. Andrew Luck, and now you kind of see where where the uh, where the Colts are. Can I show the team chart? Yeah, I can. And we we posted that video, Justin, so you'll be able to see um, how that worked out right there. There's also a DVR function on YouTube. You can rewind and go back to this part where I'm showing the team list again. And, um, but just make sure you, you are back live again so you're not lagging behind. Pro tips, YouTube stream pro tip. A graphic is shown during seemingly every Bears Packers game. The number of QBs for the Packers, right? A number of QBs for the Bears. Yeah, I mean, Logan thinking maybe trade Rodgers to the Jets, trade all your picks to the Texans to take Young. At, is Bryce Young the guy? Is Charlie Blackman to one twenty-five? Charlie Blackman, Rockies, that'll be Dennis. And an Eddie Murray autograph, nice old school auto for the O's, Cassandra with the Orioles. That's right, yes, Rex, I do have to get some Powerball tickets this week. Yeah, right around 500 is when I start playing. Start giving the state of California some money. There's Nick Allen to 250. For the A's, that'll be for Gabe, G. Lo. I don't know. You know what? I, I really don't watch enough college football to really... Ooh, nice Bobby Wood Jr. Aqua Shimmer to 175. But the, the buzz that I'm getting from just what little I'm reading... Here you go, James. Royals. Is that... Uh, is that there's really no consensus like this is definitely the guy kind of situation with the college QBs. And there's a Marcos Diplot to 25, another Oriole for Cassandra. Is there an Eddie Murray kicker for the Lions? No, definitely not that Eddie Murray. I mean, I'm, I almost want, yeah, I know, you're not going to like this answer, Logan. I, I almost think that they should, that they should just not trade up, not, well, I mean, tra definitely trade Aaron Rodgers to get some assets back and just have a normal draft, you know? Offensive line, running back, wide receivers, defense, you know, shore up all those spots. Give Jordan Love a full camp. Right, knowing that he's the guy, Give, he gets all the first team reps, you know, in in uh, you know the training camps and in the preseason. Knowing that he's going to be the guy, you know, saying, "Hey, let's see what you got. 
see what you have in the season. If he's no good, you just kind of tank. Get another high draft pick. Then find the best available QB there. Go with that. And then use the rest of the rounds. Defense, offensive line, etc., etc. Build depth there. Wide receiver, so on and so forth. And just kind of go from there. And then... And then join the quarterback carousel for, for years to come. Man, I don't know who I want at quarterback for my Raiders. I really not a big fan of the not a big fan of the uh, of Tom Brady, who's quite old, going to the Raiders. But I mean I feel like that's what the Raiders might just go with. But yeah, Raiders need offensive linemen. I'd rather trade for Aaron Rodgers, to be honest with you. Stephen Punk saying trade Justin Fields and draft Bryce Young. And talk about that'd be such a Bearsy kind of move. I wouldn't be surprised if that does happen. Vlad Guerrero Jr. seventy five. Just take like five steps backwards. Roll the dice on another like QB just when you just when the Bears are starting to starting to get some development and evolution. Spend all that time with Justin Fields just to trade him. There's Jake Berger, uh, Chicago White Sox. Michael Cohen, last spot mojo strikes again seventy percent of the time. Last spot mojo hits a hundred percent of the time. Yelich to three hundred. All right, that's true. The Bears did trade up to draft Mitch Trubisky, so, so yeah, maybe maybe they will do that. All right, second mini box. Got a Chris Bryant purple little color match to two fifty. Dennis with the rocks. And there's Drew Ellis, rookie auto for the Snakes. Justin with the Diamondbacks. I wouldn't mind Jimmy G, but for for whatever it's worth, Derek Carr was a pretty durable quarterback, and you know, he doesn't doesn't get injured, doesn't miss a lot of games. Jimmy G, on the other hand, has a bit of that history. I mean, if the Raiders are thinking of taking Jimmy G, I'd rather just roll the dice on, on Jarrett Sidham. Maybe do the, have him sort of run an offense that he's familiar with. And then maybe you still draft a quarterback, maybe in the second, third round or something. You know, maybe a third, fourth round QB, kind of give someone back there a shot without the pressure of being a first round QB. That's what I would do. And then just draft offensive line and defense, defense, defense. Is everyone giving up on Zach Wilson? Gilo <laughs> saying not the Cougars. Um, it seems like the team's giving up on him. I think the Jets owner, owner GM, someone came right out and said, "Yeah, I'm willing to pay top dollar for a quarterback." So, yeah, it looks like the team's giving up. Nick Foles to the Raiders. How old is Nick Foles? I mean, if I don't want. You know, he's only 34. I feel like he's a lot older. Maybe he's just been in the league a long time. Nah, I think Nick Foles' starting days are probably over Mike Tower. I think he's, you know, probably a backup. Zach Wilson is going to be Jamarcus Russell category. I don't know about that. 
Zach Wilson it looks like he's trying. <laughs> I think Jamarcus Russell is famous for not trying. All right, final box. We got Mackenzie Gore to 300. We got more in the store, folks. More pick your teams and a triple case are in the store. Finest baseball, if you want to check that out, jaspiescasebreaks.com. We got George Springer. Second to last autograph. That'll be for Fred and Toronto. There has been that speculation, Mike. That uh, that Josh McDaniels actually worked well with Mac Jones. You know, so is is there a, you know is there a potential potential trade between those two teams? There's Stephen Kwan, 250. I don't think Bailey Zappi was a Josh McDaniels guy. Bailey Zappi might have been drafted the year after, right? Oh, right, yeah, he was drafted in 2022, so he wasn't his guy, you know. I think, I think if anything... Josh McDaniels probably was involved with drafting Mac Jones, so I think he's scouted him a lot. He's worked with him for a season. Steven Strasburg to 300. So if anything, I could see Mac Jones being, if a trade even materialized. I don't think it will, but, but who knows? Could get crazy. And we've got... Another George Springer, this time Cornerstone George Springer autograph, like a personal box for Fred and the Blue Jays, getting both autos out of the final master box here in 2022, Top's Finest Baseball, eight box, pick your team, number three. We do have another pick your team in the store if you want to get after it. We've got Shoei Otani, nice, 223 out of 250. That's for Jason and the Halos, Reed Detmers and Wills Contreras to close things out. There you go, boys and girls. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I will see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.